Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1081. This episode right here was actually pretty cool in a certain sense, depending on your point of view. So if anything else, let's just get this started. Um, we have to it that, um, you know, Wano has its celebrations here and there, but we do have an intruder, which we all know who that is. But before we get into that fight whatsoever, which obviously, like, it was gonna happen anyway, um... Let's talk about Shanks and his crew. They were, they look like they're gonna go past Wano for a bit, and you know, like, um, one of Shanks' crew members, I don't remember his name, all I know is he's the big, he's a big guy, you know, who loves to eat a lot of meat whatsoever on the bone, you know, and says, hey, we should go visit Luffy, you know, he's a great pirate right now, and Shanks is like, uh, I don't want to see him yet, considering that his crewmate Bartholomew literally just set fire onto our flag, we gotta respond to that in a very bad, angry way. Which is obvious from the get-go. I mean, like, um, when you're entering a pirate's territory and causing a lot of trouble, you know that you're asking for a fight, depending on what territory they take over. That's how a Yonko works, you know? Now, let's get to the scene with the Marines involving Sakazuki and everyone else talking about, like, um, the situations that happen at the Revere, and not to mention what's happening around the world right now, you know? And this is... Is pretty crazy intense here and there, but that aside, um, let's see here. Um, Kizaru mentions to Sakazuki about the situation, the situation of what Sabo became after he assassinates um, Vivi's father, Cobra, Nefatari Cobra, and as for Vivi, she went missing. Not to mention, let's add on to another addition to the fact that. Um, that the revolutionaries, like I said, made their attack, you know, that was obvious from the get-go that was going to happen anyway. On the world nobles, you get the idea. And St. Carlos, he apparently was actually almost murdered, if anything, if you get my cue. And I go like, I can remember that time, man. Oh my gosh, dude, I was so ticked off. But yeah, all I know is Sakazuki is given a lot of crazy stuff going on here and there, seeing that the revolutionaries clash against the admirals, you know, and so forth. You get, you get, you get, you get, you get the idea. If that's if you read the manga or you're up to date with the anime, that's if you watch this episode. Yada yada yada. Sakazuki becomes super annoyed about what's happening around the world and so forth, but he knows he'll just fight back, you know. And he really seems to be annoyed being a fleet admiral at this, at this time and age of what's happening i go like bruh you were you became at you became fleet admiral the moment you beat out kiji stop complaining this was your choice to begin with you get the idea that aside um we have to it that um that shanks you know towards the end of the episode asked ben bakeman hey don't you think it's time to get our hands on the one piece i'm thinking about my oh man now we're starting to go we're 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 driving now you know <laughs> that kind of thing preview and, and you know like now here's where most of the episode is pretty much the 70 percent of the of the episode involving here and there um it involves the red nine samurai facing off against Admiral Greenbull or Ryukugyu, however you want to pronounce his name, or whichever one that seems fitting for you. We get to know what his Devil Fruit power is, and honestly, from the get-go, a long time ago, the fact that he wasn't even, like, um, what should we call it, um, eating for many years, you know, etc. And the fact that he's able to move, we all had a feeling that it had to be plant-based. I mean, he, I mean, he's green, like, green. His name is in, the power is in the name green and bull you know that kind of thing many people speculated and had a lot of theories about his g devil fruit power or something which was obviously a devil fruit to begin with because you know and the reason why that he hasn't eaten for many years is because his devil fruit power allows him to absorb nutrients as he is like a plant-based logia type you know you get the idea he was a he's a forest forest human or mori mori human mori mori human you get the idea anyways um Speaking of which, um, yeah, pretty much like, um, some crazy stuff and Shanks, like I said, is about to go, is starting, r r starting up his engine to go after the One Piece whatsoever. Although Shanks did say he sensed a strange presence in Wano, you know, that kind of thing. There were some other scenes I could mention, you know, I mean, Shanks remembering his time with Luffy, how he raided a CP0 
um, a CP9 ship to get a double food treasure, you know, you get the idea. You could name a lot of things, I'm just saying, you know. I just didn't think that was that important anyway, but I guess it has its relations, you know, because, you know, that CP9 member, whatever his name is, who got his butt handed by Jinbei, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, that aside, um, hopefully next episode will be amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing that scene to show how green Green Bull really is. Those of you guys who are manga readers, you get the idea. I'm looking forward that Toe is going to nail it, you know, despite, you know, they're, they always like making it too flashy and colorful, which is to their like um, fan service kind of thing, but whatever. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.